2023 has been a highly successful year for WWE. The company's delivering sold-out shows all over the world, and 2023 was finally the year in which the company was finally sold. Despite the company delivering record numbers, they've still made the controversial decision to release several names over the course of the year. The reasons for these cuts vary, but the reasons usually come down to budget cuts. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at every WWE wrestler released in 2023. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Number 15, Naomi. May 2022 was when Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out of WWE never to return again. In relation to Banks, it's believed that she was officially released in 2022, whereas Naomi was confirmed to be released in 2023. Naomi has had great success since leaving WWE and she's become the face of the TNA Knockouts division and fans of Naomi are still holding on to hope that one day that the former WWE Women's Champion will return to WWE to settle any unfinished business. Number 14, Matt Riddle. Former US Champion Matt Riddle had a highly successful run on the main roster. Riddle was often thrown into the main event scene and his partnership with RK Bro was some of the finest work of his entire career. Unfortunately for Riddle, his questionable behavior outside the ring eventually led to his WWE release in September, which whilst frustrating, it was understandable why WWE made the difficult decision to let him go. After making various appearances for signings, Riddle now has his first match in MLW vs Jacob Fatu. Number 13, Dana Brooke. Although Dana Brooke never reached the top of the women's division, she was considered to be one of the friendliest people in the locker room. Brooke was liked by everyone and her release would have no doubt upset a lot of people backstage in WWE. Interestingly, Brooke was heavily involved on NXT TV before her release, which meant that NXT had to rework their shows now that Brooke was gone. Following her release, she took to Twitter to post a lengthy statement and it was filled with class and grace and it was easy to work out why Brooke was so popular within the WWE bubble. Brooke has yet to have wrestled a match since WWE but is still active on social media. Number 12, Lacey Evans. Former WWE star Lacey Evans was given countless opportunities to succeed in WWE. She would work featured programs with the top female talents in the company, yet her in-ring work was always holding her back. Evans had an odd relationship with the fans, as she would often post controversial comments on her social media pages, which didn't exactly portray her as the nicest human in the world. Nevertheless, Evans claims that she requested her WWE release, yet it remains unclear if she's planning on continuing to wrestle in another promotion such as AEW or TNA. Lacey Evans recently opened a cafe, so it might be clear that she's put wrestling behind her. Number 11, Emma. From the night Emma returned to WWE, it was obvious that WWE had no concrete plans for her. Emma returned in a huge match against Ronda Rousey, yet following this, Emma virtually disappeared from WWE TV. It's hard to recall if Emma had a single meaningful storyline during her second stint and WWE completely wasted a competent female star who could have been an excellent addition to the women's division. Emma is currently in the process of releasing a travel show with her real-life husband Riddick Moss. She's been very active on social media to push it. Number 10, Riddick Moss. Riddick Moss was given a substantial push in the year before his WWE release. Moss was heavily pushed as a babyface in the feud with Baron Corbin and Moss even defeated the credible Corbin several times. The problem was that Moss had no concrete character or gimmick so the fans were barely reacting to anything he did. WWE ultimately decided to turn him heel, yet this did little to improve his connection with the audience. A Moss like Emma is still active on social media and is also pushing for the new travel show. Number 9. Top Dollar WWE deciding to release Top Dollar basically ended the run of Hit Row for the second time. Whilst Dollar wasn't exactly Brian Danielson in the ring, he was decent on the mic and he had a great presence on social media. In fact, Top Dollar even revealed that he was going to have a planned match with Michael Cole. All of the bad mouthing that Cole did on commentary was actually going to lead to a match. Top Dollar recently appeared in front of a live audience at Game Changer Wrestling. It's unknown if he has signed with the promotion, but Dollar has also dropped some new music on X. Number 8, Shanky. Shanky is mostly known for his short-lived gimmick of him dancing after matches. This gimmick was well received, yet Shanky certainly had improvements that needed to be made in terms of his in-ring work. His WWE release seemed rather abrupt, as a 7-foot tall star could have certainly benefited from more development down in NXT. Dilshare Shanky hasn't been up to much since his WWE release, however there should be some great things in store for the big giant. Number 7, Aaliyah. 
WWE deciding to release Aaliyah was a questionable decision as they had put considerable effort into trying to get her over with the audience. WWE were booker in newsworthy moments and matches, such as the time she attained a three-second win over Natalia, and she would even have a reign as one half of the women's tag team champions. Fightful Select would discuss the release and the reputable source would report that she was hardly ever brought to TV tapings and was never factored into any creative for the women's division. Aaliyah was a name that many in WWE expected to be on the list. She'd been signed with the company since 2015 and she was drafted to SmackDown in 2021 but barely used. She became a tag team champion but had not wrestled on or off television once in over a year since losing the titles. We were told that she was rarely if ever brought to TV and was not factored in creatively. Now it's currently unclear where Aaliyah will end up after a WWE release, however she has retweeted her old videos on the indie scene to suggest that she will be wrestling soon again. Number 6. Maximum Male Models in the weeks and months that have followed Mansoor and Mace's WWE release, it became apparent just how charismatic and likeable the two truly are. Although their WWE careers didn't turn out how they expected, they still had a ton to offer, as their Twitch streams are unbelievably funny. Mansoor had an interesting WWE tenure as he was often used for Saudi shows, yet his role in Maximum Male Models alongside Mace was rather underrated and Mansoor played his role very well. In relation to Mace, he portrayed several roles in the company, including a commentary stint on Raw, and similarly to his tag team partner, Mace did his absolute best in the role that WWE gave him. Now, the duo actually appeared at Deadlock Pro Wrestling, which was surprising as their 90-day non-compete clause hadn't finished and they had 9 more days left until they can debut or sign with any company. Number 5. Rick Boogs Rick Boogs' pairing with Shinsuke Nakamura was a definitive highlight of Boogs' WWE tenure. Yet when he tore his quad at WrestleMania 38, this drastically changed the trajectory of his career. When Boogs returned in 2023, the magic was lost, and although Boogs was getting decent reactions from the audience, they struggled on where to place him on the card. Boogs would claim that politics was the reason for his release, and he has yet to go into detail on what he's specifically referring to, yet this may come further down the line. A Boogs has now removed that beautiful mustache, looking incredibly different than his WWE days. Boogs continues to maintain his physique by weightlifting and is very active on social media. Number 4. Mustafa Ali One of the top matches on the 2023 NXT No Mercy card was to see Dominic Mysterio vs Mustafa Ali. This was set to be for the NXT North American title, yet shortly before the event, WWE announced that Ali had been released from the company. It was heavily reported that Ali had been seeking his release for a considerable length of time, yet to release him just before a major title match seemed nonsensical. According to reports, this caused problems for NXT's creative team and it was even reported by Fightful Select that Ali was going to win the North American title for the first time. The WWE NXT brand was going to look a whole lot different before the WWE releases. Trick Williams is a new NXT North American champion after defeating Dominic Mysterio at NXT No Mercy, however that wasn't the original plan. There were some incorrect reports stating that Dominic was originally scheduled to retain over Mustafa Ali. Actually, Mustafa Ali was supposed to win the North American Championship prior to his release. This is one of the reasons why NXT higher-ups stated that they were frustrated by the call to cut him. Mustafa Ali is now embarking on a world tour. He teased his next steps with this ex-post. Tonight I stand before you a free man. A man Game Changer Wrestling has also booked Ali in a match against Gringo Loco on 19th January. But not only that, he'll be wrestling in various Canadian promotions. Number 3. Shelton Benjamin Former Intercontinental Champion Shelton Benjamin has a gold standard reputation as a pro wrestler. Benjamin remains as an elite performer and there was rampant disappointment when Benjamin was released. Whilst Benjamin is incredibly talented, they could never commit to a substantial storyline for him. His work as part of the Hurt Business was outstanding, yet after it concluded, he was just consistently relegated to main event. Benjamin took to Twitter following his release and as always, he showed nothing but class and respect. I've been released from my WWE contract. I thank WWE staff, talent and of course the fans for everything. Something ends, something new begins. Looking forward to my next chapter. Shelton is now looking forward to what his next steps will be. He's currently not booked with any promotion, but it surely won't take long for a gold standard such as himself to get a booking. Number 2. Elias Elias deserved a ton of credit for managing to get what is in essence a basic gimmick over with the audience. His drifted gimmick at one point was one of the most overheel characters on the show and even his stint as Ezekiel was incredibly entertaining. 
his WWE release didn't exactly come as a surprise, as Elias was in creative limbo with the WWE creative team and following his release, the man himself took to Twitter to reflect on his WWE tenure in a rather heartfelt post. From drifting onto the scene, to WrestleMania with John Cena and The Undertaker, to millions around the world for years walking with Elias, a number one iTunes album, and to be my own younger brother Zeke while traveling the world, it's been a blast. God is good. And since his release, Elias has been totally MIA. No updates to his profile or any bookings at all. And number one, Dolph Ziggler. When WWE announced that Dolph Ziggler was released in September, fans were stunned. Ziggler was one of the most popular and consistently good WWE wrestlers of the past 15 years and it seemed like a bizarre decision to release a former two-time world champion. In recent years, Ziggler has struggled to find a prominent role on TV and this was especially the case during the Triple H era of WWE as Ziggler was often used as a decorated enhancement guy for stars such as Omos. When they confirmed the news regarding Ziggler, wrestlers from both WWE and AEW came together to talk about how great he was, both in the ring and behind the scenes. In relation to why WWE made the decision to cut Ziggler, Fightful Select reported that Ziggler had already been ready to leave WWE years ago. Among them is Dolph Ziggler, who was actually ready to leave WWE years ago, but got talked into staying with the company. Those that we spoke to this week said that originally his WWE deal was set to extend into next summer. Whatever avenue Ziggler goes down next, whether that be wrestling in a new promotion or continuing with his comedy gigs, Ziggler will no doubt shine in his next chapter. Dolph is one of the hottest free agents in the world right now. He's rumored to be joining his brother in AEW and currently he has a match in the Puerto Rican wrestling promotion at World Wrestling Council. There have also been rumors that he is behind the devil gimmick in AEW, but there you have it folks, every WWE wrestler released in 2023, which was the most upsetting release. Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.